guys, so today I'm going to be doing my first Vlogmas for the beauty channel. I have decided on my own version of Vlogmas. If you don't follow me on the family channel, I'm doing three days a week on Baby Bliss, two days a week on here. So today I'm going to be doing my entire favorites for the whole entire year. Um, I do have not actually that many things to share, but it's going to be a little bit more than your average favorites video. And it's not just going to be beauty stuff, I've got books, oracle cards, crystals, just everything. I tried to find food, but there was no like processed food that really stood out to me this year apart from the Bouja Bouja salted caramel box that I just came across actually a couple weeks ago at the Christmas market here. So I don't have any more of those to show you and we already recycled the box away, but I'll be sure to share those with you guys in the future because they are so good. I think I'll go ahead and start with the more stationary type stuff. Now this was my planner for 2017. Um, it's the one by Leonie Dawson. Now she makes these like she's more famous for making these lifestyle books so she creates like books that come out every year and they have like amazing reviews like people saying that their lives were changed through these workbooks and you basically just fill them out and there's a lot of questions about all different aspects of your life from business to spiritual to um, I don't know just anything pets family everything is in there pretty much and it's huge and there's like a place where you can put all the things you want to make happen this year and I went through mine it's like 100 things you want to make happen this year and I was really surprised at how many I actually made happen this year I think I got like 50 out of 100 and I wasn't really expecting that much um, so she makes these workbooks and I could do like a full review on these workbooks I guess but what actually stood out to me the most was the planner it was the thing that I kept coming back to the most because I use it the most now there are definite pros and cons about this planner planner. Um, first of all, just like the size is huge and bulky, but I do like that it has like tabs for each month and this spiral is so stupid. It's so hard to open and close it. Like it's just so annoying. It's a little bit fun and quirky. It's not for everybody. I find that I'm more motivated when things are like bright and colorful, but my planner for next year is actually going to be more simple. I would totally get another planner from her if it wasn't for the fact that she wasn't coming out with a planner. She's only gonna be doing her workbooks this year. Um, but yeah, so basically what I liked about it so much was every month it gives you a chance to check in. Um, so you really feel like every month you can really reflect on things that went down in the last month and, you know, put your intention in focus. There's like a little box to fill out. What is your intention and focus and focus for this month? You can even write uh, your business goals. What kind of support are you going to need to make your goals happen? And I've just definitely noticed like through doing the monthly check-in that things have just gone a lot more smoothly in my life and I feel like when you don't just like kind of switch over months without really giving thought to what happened the past month and what you want to make happen this month that things don't tend to go as well plus I really really liked <laughs> I didn't actually write in it every week so I'll show you guys an empty week but the weeks that I did actually do a plan like some days some weeks we all got sick and I just knew it wasn't going to be planable so um, here's an example of what a week would look like and I like how it also gives you a chance to how would you like to feel this week I'm so grateful for this I want to receive this I want to give myself this and um, I like how everything is like little boxes I usually had a section for like my exercise and morning stuff I usually had like a little checkbox for videos I had to film videos that needed to go up I usually had a little checkbox for, for meal plans and just everything that I would need to get done that day, like appointments, blah, 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 doula, business stuff all went in here. And I just really liked this planner and I'm a little bummed that she's not making a new one. I would love it if she would make it in a less bulky, less annoying design, but she's not making any this year. So I'll show you my new planner actually. I got a paper blank planner and I just thought this one was really, really pretty. And the thing is, it's going to be very, very simple, but it's like a weekly situation. And it even has the time, sorry, the dishwasher's going. <laughs> I forgot to mention that. So hopefully this is okay. I don't have like the little section to do my monthly check-in, but I'm gonna try to recreate the monthly check-in some other way in my life or 
I don't know, I just really liked having it in my planner, so it's a bit of a bummer. Favorite books for the whole year. One that I found myself reaching for probably the most, and I keep it under my bed in my nightstand, um, is the Louise Hay Meditations to Heal Your Life. And this is just filled with a lot of really positive meditations and mantras and stuff like that. And how I use it is I just randomly open. Today I open to, I have made lessons easy and fun. I am willing to learn. And then there's like a whole like positive way of looking at something. And usually it resonates with me. I, f I find that it's usually pretty powerful. Next is spiritual midwifery. I've been finding myself refer to this a lot because there's a lot of really good birth stories and I am pregnant again, so it's nice to kind of go through these stories again. But also I am a doula and I also am an aspiring midwife and there's a good section in here about birth and birth complications and ways to stop excessive bleeding and all that stuff. All these things that I'm just kind of really interested in anyway and kind of nice to know in case I have a spontaneously fast home birth that I'm kind of aware of um, certain situations that may I may need to act on if my midwife is taking a long time to get here, <laughs> which is true for anyone if you think about it. You can never guarantee you're gonna make it to the hospital in time. Some people have babies in the cars. So it's just nice to kind of know these things and also just like fetal positioning and how the pelvis is aligned, the different kinds of pelvises. And also I met Ina May. This book just holds a lot of treasure to me. Um, Ina May is just like my hero <laughs> pretty much. And I have a signed autograph in there, which makes me very happy. So I actually keep this on my spiritual like altar where I have all of my things that inspire me and this is definitely one of them. Okay, last two kind of stationary things is my diary. Now I know it's kind of a weird diary, it's kind of big, but I've actually really enjoyed having a big diary like this and it's hardcover and I like how it's pretty and shiny <laughs> and flowery and all that stuff. It's just really positive. And the pages are really, really pretty as well. Let me show you show you a blank page. I don't want you guys reading my diary. Really pretty pages. Um, and also it's really easy to write on the left hand side of the notebook. I hate when you have like these, like I like the bendy ones. Like I think that they're quite cool and they have a, like a nice feel to them, but I hate writing on the side where there's less paper than on the other side because then it's just harder to write on it without a hard surface. So I really have enjoyed this and I've journaled the most this year out of any year. And I also keep like little dried up flowers in there. It's just a, a very nice personal keepsake. And I think that I'm going to continue on with my journaling process and just hopefully go through lots and lots of journals. By the way, this is by Pip Studio. Happy products for happy people. <laughs> I think another reason why I've been really keeping to my journaling and also my like planning so well is because I've also found I'm, I'm very visual. I like things to be really positive and really happy and I get motivated by bright colors more than I do like boring stuff. So I've been really enjoying writing in gel pens basically. I bought like a big pack of gel pens which are almost out of ink now because the girls also love them so much. And they're like sparkly and shiny. Some of them are neon and I like the sparkly and the shiny ones the best actually so I've been pretty much always writing everything in my planners and in my calendars in these pretty pens. So that's everything stationary wise. On the spirituality front I think that the most used product in terms of what I've used for like my meditation sort of like my guide I guess you could say in a way is oracle cards and I have a few sets but I'm pretty sure you guys already know the one I'm going to share with you and I think I've had it in a favorites video before but I pretty much use this every week to every month just depends on the month um, but it's the magic of flowers oracle card deck and you know, some people are a little bit superstitious about this idea, but I think it's just really, really fun. Like you just get these beautiful cards. Here's my card for this week, by the way, that I drew. Can you see it? Fox glove. And they just have such beautiful things to say and it pretty much is always spot on. As a matter of fact, the one that I pulled like a day after I had the Ina May conference was an old lady, <laughs> like this older looking wise woman. And it, it was talking a lot about winter and it was talking a lot about inner wisdom. It was talking a lot about meeting a spirit guide. It always resonates with me pretty much 
on the dot all the time. So I highly recommend this. I think it's just so great. The cards are so beautiful. Here's a little look at what you can see is inside. Okay, so next thing that I have found to be really useful is the Jade Yoni Egg. Now, I bought this for the purpose of, I guess just, I'm really into the female reproductive system. I love doing research on it, and I know of some women who have raved about this, who have either been sexually traumatized in some way, or the women have been suffering like reproductive issues. Now, I just thought it sounded like a really cool way also to do Kegels without buying those weird balls. I just thought that this was like a little bit more of a natural approach and it's supposed to help strengthen your vagina also known as yoni that's why it's called yoni egg and you can leave it in for actually the course of the whole day and it's supposed to help tone the vagina because your vagina kind of has to keep it up and I got this small size like the smaller the size the more difficult it is <laughs> to keep in basically and I'm not using it pregnant but I did use it sometimes I didn't use it every day and I didn't even use it every month but I did actually start a practice called yoni breathing a month before I conceived actually because I knew I was going to want to get pregnant soon and I just thought well it's kind of nice probably to just really focus on clearing the energy in my womb space and just setting nice intentions for the area and I did end up getting pregnant really fast. I got pregnant really fast with Leia too and I didn't do anything like spiritual in order to prepare my womb space um, but this time I just thought why not so like a month before I knew we were probably going to want to try to conceive I decided let's just try the yoni breathing thing so basically you put it in you go into a meditation state and then as you breathe in, you do like a Kegel exercise and then as you breathe out, you release it slowly. And I did this setting positive intentions and creative visualization with this egg for about a month before we started trying to conceive and then boom pregnant I would highly recommend it I mean if it's it's not gonna hurt anybody and I think positive thoughts and I think the power of the mind is vastly underestimated okay finally on to beauty favorites I'm just <laughs> not all that much into beauty stuff anymore but yeah it's again just like a hair conditioner because you guys know how I love hair conditioners all-time favorite of this year John Masters is the winner John Masters organics my favorite is the citrus neroli detangler super expensive but super duper worth it if you like keeping long hair these next couple of products might be a little bit unfair because I've only had them for a week but I'm already so in love with them I just have to share and I have a feeling that they're just going to carry me off into 2018 on a good way so this is um, the eye sun lavender sage cleanser and it's just a facial cleanser and I have been getting a lot more hormonal acne than any of my other pregnancies I would say and it's been really bugging me as a matter of fact I had a cystic pimple that was going to start up like four days ago and usually when I get those like they will just last for an entire week to 10 days before they pop or do anything. I got the cleanser in the mail like a day afterwards and I used it and the next day the pimple had already like popped. So I was like this stuff is amazing. So I've been using it probably just once a day. And then um, to moisturize, I've been using this on pretty much every area of my body, including my belly. It is the C. Buxorn All Over Lotion, Restorative and Nourishing, and it's by Living Libations. They're one of my favorite companies of all time, and I've been using it throughout the day on my belly, as well as shea butter on my belly, and I use it as a face moisturizer because it is starting to snow and get dry outside, so I'm making sure to keep nice and moisturized, and this has been really, really nice for my skin right now. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. That is all my favorites for the year of 2017. I will put a list of all the products in the description box so you guys can go look for them if you're interested, and I wish you guys all a happy holiday season, and I will see you guys on Thursday for a foodie video. Bye!